This video will cover the topic, composition of two functions, domain and range. Let's begin with a quick review of what the domain and the range of a function is. A domain is the values that you are able to input into a function. So if we were to have the following example function, our domain would be 0, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8, because those are the numbers that we are able to put into the function and get a result. We aren't able to put any other values into our function. The range of a function is all the values we get for that function. So in the example here, it would be 1, 5, 7, and 8. We don't get any other values for the function. Also, we need to remember what a composite function is. A composite function is a function within a function, right? Right. A composite function takes a given number, evaluates it in the first function, then evaluates that value in the second function. So if we take an example, find f of g of 3. The first thing we're going to want to do is find the g of 3. If we look, we can see the g of 3 is 7. After that, we're going to want to find what the f of 7 is. So if we look here, we can see that the f of 7 is going to be equal to 1. Using this information, we know that the f of g of 3 is going to be equal to 1. When we have a composite function, it will have a separate domain and range from the two functions it is composed of. How do we know what the domain and range is then? Let's begin with the domain. We can start by taking the entire domain of the inside function, and in this case, that's g of x. Next, we can eliminate any x values that will make the value of g of x not in the domain of f of x. Then we can take out values like 0 because g of 0 is 1 and 1 isn't in the domain of f of x, right? Right. We can also take out 7 because the g of 7 is 1 and 8 because the g of 8 is also 1 and 1 is not in the domain of f of x. 3, 5, and 6 give values for g of x that are inside of the domain of f of x and so we can take those as our domain. Now that we have a new domain, we can use this to find the range for our composite function. So if we were to take the f of g of 3, we would get 1. So the f of g of 5 is 5, and the f of g of 6 is also 5. Right. So we can see that the range for our composite function is going to be 1 and 5. So to find the domain for the composite function, we take the domain of the inside function and eliminate any x values that make the value for the inside function not in the domain of the outside function. We then take our new domain and use it to find the range of the composite function. Exactly. 